My husband and I took a chance and planted a little sweet corn this year. It ended up to be a lot of sweet corn. We have so many gazillion bags of sweet corn in our freezer. So today we're making corn chowder. Here are all the ingredients that you are gonna need for corn chowder. We've got, in no particular order, heavy whipping cream, milk, corn, bacon, potatoes, onions, chicken broth, celery, salt, pepper, and thyme. Don't you just love soup? Let me tell you, when, when I tell you that we had so much corn that we planted in our back field, y'all, it was a cornmageddon. It was like a corn apocalypse or something. It was a really good problem to have, and that's why I decided to make corn chowder today. Half a pound of bacon. Going in there. I'm really excited to get pigs again next year uh, because we're almost out of bacon. We're almost out of lard. We only get pigs every other year now because our kids are grown up. <laughs> We don't need 27,000 pigs a year. Um, so we get two pigs every other year. It's so nice to have our own pork. All right, this is good and uh, crumbly. So we're gonna drain this, but we're gonna reserve all the yummy fat that came off of it because we're gonna use that in the next step. Now we're gonna switch this out to a big old pot. And we're gonna pour that bacon grease in there for the next step. What we're gonna do now is we are going to pour <coughs> celery and onions into our pot and we're gonna saute that up. This is looking tender-ish. So we are going to go ahead and add more of our goodies. We're gonna add the chicken broth potatoes, we're gonna add salt, not too much, because we did use bacon grease. We can always add more later if we need it. Pepper, and add some thyme. Mm, bunch of thyme, feeling spicy-ish today. Not the thyme is spicy, but you know, it's a spice, it's an herb, it's a whatever. All right, so what we're gonna do, Stir that up. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. Um, and we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then we're going to lower it to a simmer and we're going to let it do its thing until the potatoes get tender. All right, potatoes are tender, so now we're gonna add the corn, which is essential when you're making corn chowder. Now, I've got frozen corn here. You can use fresh corn, you can use canned corn, use whatever you want. I'm gonna add a bag or two. I haven't decided how much. Whatever looks good when it gets going. But since this is frozen, it's obviously gonna take a little bit longer than if you were adding fresh corn or canned corn. Woo! I am having a gut feeling here that I'm gonna need this second bag of corn because we are still adding liquid to this. We're gonna add milk and cream to this, so we are definitely gonna have enough room for more corn. We're gonna let that heat up, do its thing. And then we'll check it. You know how some days are just like a great day for soup? Today, let me take you outside. Today is one of those days because it's about noon here as I'm starting to put this soup together and it is just like gray and a little chilly. It's very fallish here at the farm. Look at all these leaves. When I was younger, we would go camping in, oh, there's turkeys. There's turkeys on the road. I don't know if I can zoom in enough for you to see that. There's turkeys out on our road. I don't remember what I was saying. It's probably it's too windy to talk out here because I didn't bring a mic, so. <sighs> Just gonna go back in. Hey, Ted! You wanna go see those turkeys? Oh, chitty bear. The corn is all thawed. And this is getting warm. So now I have uh, a cup of heavy whipping cream in here and I'm going to add two cups of milk to it. Let's see, I'll bring it up to three cups total. And then we're just gonna mix that together a little bit. 
And then we are going to pour it into the soup. All right, now we're gonna get this good and warm. Remember to uh, stir it a lot because this is a cream-based soup, so you don't wanna scorch it on the bottom because you'll be real sad. Now some folks will just eat the soup just like this, but what you can do is you can take some of the soup out, you can blend it up with a blender, and then add it back in, makes it a little thicker, changes the texture a little bit, so we're gonna do that. Hopefully this doesn't make a giant mess. We'll see. If it does, you'll have something fun to watch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, there we go. That wasn't too terrible. Now, we're just gonna pour it back in the soup, hopefully not making a giant mess. That's a little bit thicker, changes it a little bit. You could blend up the entire pot of soup if you wanted to. It's all about what you want to do. Now here's another place where you need to make a decision. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mix all the bacon back in here. That bacon that we took out, of the, that we cooked at the beginning and then set aside, I'm gonna add it all back into the soup. There are some folks that would save some out to do some garnishing. I'm not gonna garnish my soup because I'm not serving the king or the queen or Johnny Cash or Johnny Horton or Hank Williams Sr. I'm not serving any of them for dinner, so I ain't, I ain't garnishing anything. I ain't making it fancy. We're just gonna add it all in there because it's all gonna get stirred in anyway, whether you garnish or not. So let's do that. Another taste test. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. Look at that. That's excellent, yeah. So here, here's my delightful soup. Mm. And the really cool thing is that we grew the corn. We raised the bacon. These are not potatoes from my garden, but I could have added those. Mm. So good. The thyme in there as a as an herb, as a spice, whatever you want to call it, is is perfect for this soup. It's really really good. This amount of bacon in the soup um, is kind of like a a flavoring. It's not the main part of the soup. If you want a bacony soup or you want a, a more meaty corn chowder, then uh, add more bacon. You could even add shrimp. You could add chicken. Whatever kind of meat you want to add to it. But the corn is definitely the star of this soup because it is corn chowder. That's what we made, right? It is really good to have a good recipe that you can use when you experience the cornpocalypse or cornmageddon or whatever you want to call it. Really good problem to have. All right, now go eat your soup. I can't do it. I cannot drink soup, soup from a bowl. Um, it's just a thing I have. <laughs> 